Hey, Mrs. Toivola here, back for help on your 242 assignment. We're working on the multiplication shortcut. But I'm throwing a curveball at you here because we are using whole numbers times fractions. So you might remember that we could multiply across when it's a fraction times a fraction. In this case, you can't multiply across. Back way back in our first lesson, we learned that you could take the whole number times the numerator so that's 7 times 3, and then we kept the denominator, and that would be 21 on top of 4, right? So remember, though, if we're using whole numbers to make it be a fraction, we can put a 1 on the bottom, right? So this is 7 over 1. The other way we would read that is 7 wholes, or we could read it as 7 divided by 1, which is still 7. So it's kind of a silly way to write the number 7, but it's a helpful way to write the number seven because now when I multiply across, now I can see here seven times three, right? So seven times three, that's on the top. And on the bottom, for the denominator, we have one times four. Those are kind of similar colors. One times four. So now seven times three is 21. One times four is four. You are welcome to change this into a mixed number, or you can just leave it as 21 fourths. Okay, so we'll do that one more time. We'll do the one right next to it. Four fifths times two, or four fifths of two. It's a little bit tricky to think about what fifths of two might mean. So to make it a little easier for us, underneath the two, we're going to put a one. So that's not two ones. This right here, remember the way we would read that, is two wholes. All right, so here we go. Now we can multiply across on the top. We have four times two. So for our numerator, four times two. And on the bottom, we have five times one. Five times one. Write that in, five times one. And then we'll just actually do that work. Four times two is eight. Five times one is five. And you can leave your answer just like that, eight-fifths. Going back to the first one, 21 fourths. Again, if you want to change these answers into mixed numbers, you're welcome to, but you don't have to. We will be practicing that very soon.